Hi, it's Grace. Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're all doing really, really well. Today I'm going to be filming the Could Do Better book tag, which was created by CJ from CJ Reads. She tagged me to do this kindly um, and also Alex from What Page You Want also tagged me. So of course I wanted to do it. This is basically a tag all about bad book covers or covers book covers that could do better i'll link um obviously cj's original tag below and also alex's video i'm definitely not as um graphic design or artistically minded as cj however i do love book covers and it does make me feel like personally upset if i want to buy a book and it has an ugly cover so let's get straight into it the first question is say it don't spray it what is a book with the most offensive use of type the first one is the song of achilles by madeline miller i haven't read this book and um, i've read cersei i read that in 2019 and i really enjoyed it and i would like to get to this but this cover specifically there's also like a bloomsbury modern classics edition of it which is the one i would buy because it's so much nicer i hate everything about this cover to be frank but i really don't like that type like I guess it's almost trying to be like Microsoft Word Papyrus to give you like an old classics look. Um, I don't like the way it sort of like bends around this. I don't even know what this gold thing's meant to be, like a shield or something. Obviously, it's like whacking you over the head with the fact that it's a classics retelling. But yeah, I really hate that type. Another one is um, Who They Was by Gabriel Krauser. This is a book where I literally thought this was like the proof holding cover but actually no, it, it's the real cover. And I mean, what is going on with this type? Again, all of these fonts, I swear to God, you could just get from Microsoft Word. Why is one so long and skinny? And then there's just like a shorter fat one. And then there's so much like type on that hand side with the quote that it's just like, there's so much boring slash bad looking black type on this book and it just really annoys me and then finally for this question um ready player two by ernest klein this is not a book that i would ever read i don't read um like sci-fi at all however it's a hugely popular book so it's a book i've seen a lot and every time i see it i just don't like it i mean i'm i think it does its job for its genre and i guess looking at this cover like you very much know it's probably going to be sci-fi i guess it's trying to play on like the video game type but i don't care for it at all it just annoys me i don't like it I guess the c is like a pac-man is it i don't know i don't i don't like it at all the second prompt is she's serving reese's book club so it's a cover that has a really kind of maybe a commercial cover when it's not a commercial book or it just looks very reese's book club disclaimer i have nothing against reese's book club i also have nothing against commercial fiction so i've tried to pick books that aren't a commercial book because if a book is commercial then of course it's gonna have a commercial cover hashtag marketing but first we have expectation by anna hope i haven't read this book yet but i do really want to it was like all over bookstagram this summer and was getting amazing reviews from people who i really respect but i just do think this cover's quite book clubby um and if i didn't already know i wanted to read this i think it would put me off picking it up i don't really like book covers that have photographs on anyway like that is a bit of a pet peeve of mine um and here you've got these three women and like the bubble gum uh i don't know it just seems like it would be very much like low stakes quite like cozy fiction that, like you might buy for your mum or your auntie no shade to any of my any of my mothers or any of my aunties um but you know what i mean i think a lot of people have said it's actually quite deals with like more difficult topics it's about female friendship in a bit more of a spiky way and yeah i just think this is such a book clubby cover and i don't really like it so second on this list is another one that i haven't read and i really want to and that's ask again yes by mary beth keen i don't only want to read it because keen's my surname but i can't pretend that doesn't play a part this book sounds really really interesting to me um i think it's very book clubby in the way that um a lot of books are where it's like a flat pattern kind of vibe in like uh, gradients of color and then like a big type on it i find a lot of american covers look like this i actually don't mind this book cover um i don't mind those kind of like simple bright like all the ones cj was like hating on in her video i was like oh i like those but it does feel like this is almost has been picked to try and 
get onto a book club i think because it's so reminiscent of uh little fires everywhere by celeste ing the color palette the kind of type i don't know it feels very like consciously trying to tap into again marketing but model itself on a, on little fires everywhere she's serving reese's book club and then finally after the fire is still small voice by evie wilde so i do not i do not care for this cover again i think because it's that sort of like photographic cover this person walking away looks very like pastoral countryside it just really looks like it's going to be quiet maybe like a sentimental maybe even like historical fiction book set in like i don't know but with like american farmers or something i don't know that's just what it's saying to me and like i said i think these photographic covers just are often very commercial or used very commercial books and used for book club cover kind of books however after the Fire isn't a very commercial book. I'd say it's extremely literary. I really love this book. I absolutely love Evie Wilde, but it's kind of fractured in its narration. It's very open-ended. I don't know. I just don't think that sort of book that is very slow paced, um, very about the writing and the environment and the nature suits this cover whatsoever. Okay, so the next one is Yes Girl, Give Us Nothing. And the first one for this I could have also used for offensive type because I actually find the type on this so offensive. And it's The Rosie Project by Graham Simonson. I like this book and it's a really good kind of romantic comedy that actually made me laugh. How long did that take, really? It's white with a horrible type is awful with that lowercase r. It's literally just plain white. Whack a clip out of a lobster on and we're done seemingly don't care for it i mean yeah i just feel like absolute minimal effort has gone into that cover i think covers that are like white as a background are quite hard to pull off anyway because it does sort of look like someone's just knocked it up uh in a word doc with some clip art and especially when it's so plain on white not feeling it kind of similarly a book i picked up recently which is polar vortex by shani mutu again like pfft, how long did this take you, hun? Like, again, I think having such a plain background, you need a font that looks a bit more special than, I don't know what this is, Helvetica or something. Um, and then this thing is, I'm assuming it's a swan, a very blurry swan, but on a gray background, we haven't even really got any contrast apart from the red. Again, like just giving us nothing. It's barely even filling up the page. And then finally, this one is a bit different. So this is Silver Sparrow by Tayari Jones. I don't mind this cover. Um, but it's so similar to American Marriage that I just feel like no effort has been put in. Again, I understand marketing and branding and you want your covers to be, to kind of like speak to each other. But I mean, come on, that's too similar. Like I'm thinking about like Sally Rooney with like conversations with friends and normal people. They're very much the same illustration style. They've got one bold color, an outline of two people. Like you can tell they're by the same author. This annoys me because it uses the exact same colors and i think it's so that they can well they've got the little badge of american marriage on it so it's like the orange and blue ties in just feels a bit lazy to me again i'm sure it's like been tested and this is the best branding but for me even just mix the colors up like pick i don't know another pair of contrasting colors perhaps a yellow and a purple perhaps a red and a green i just think you're giving me nothing here that i haven't already seen with American marriage the next one is a face only a mother could love which is a book where the cover is so hideous but you keep it around because the book is so great so for this the first one I have is the descendants by Kai Hart Hemmings um this is probably one of my most hated book covers apart from like film tie-ins you won't even be able to tell but it's also shiny it's just what is it doing like these women this woman's legs the type is horrible the like colors in it and like the light the exposure the shadows are all just really weird i really hate this cover and i don't think it really speaks to the book apart from that the book's set in hawaii so it's like hawaii and this is a really beautiful book it's a really kind of funny bittersweet story about a man whose wife is in a serious accident and is in a coma and he is kind of has to keep his family together his two daughters they're both obviously going through things because of what's happened to their mother and yeah it's bittersweet and just heartwarming so funny um really well written and this just does not do it justice the next one is case histories by kate atkinson which is one of my favorite books um it's the first book in the jackson Brody series which is kind of like a literary mystery series from kate atkinson that i absolutely love 
So I have like a very old copy of this book. And so it has a very 90s, early 2000s cover. So I, I don't like it. Um, but, you know, I could kind of forgive it for the time period. I'll see if I can find it and put it in. However, they've just reissued all the okay, all the Jackson Brody novels. So I was like, amazing. And this is what they've come up with. I hate this cover. The red on the black, I just don't like this random, no offense to him, I was gonna call him ugly. He's not an ugly dog, but like just this random dog. Also the fourth book, am I right? Yeah, the fourth book in this series is called Started Early, Took My Dog. So I was like, okay, they've all got animals on the front. I think one has like an ostrich on. And so I was like, oh, let's look and see if they put another dog on, Started Early, Took My Dog. No, uh, they put a stag on it. Just does not make sense, but I would never get rid of this book um, because I love it. So the next one is um, Take One Thing Off Before You Leave the House. What is a book that could do with having one less feature? First one I have for this is Utopia Avenue by David Mitchell. And like, this cover just needs to chill out. Like honestly, looking at it is like bringing on a migraine. No, too much. Like so many colors this pattern, which isn't even like, it's such an irregular pattern. I actually love geometric, brightly colored covers, but this is just taking it to new levels, like neon covers, all these squiggles, then you've got the little records, um, and then the type is really like annoying as well and quite like kooky. It's just too kooky for me. It just needs to calm down. Then I've got The Mermaid of Black Conch by Monique Roffey. So I haven't read this book yet, but I really want to. Um, and this is no shade to this book. I think it is absolutely amazing that um, this book recently won the Costa Prize. Monique is a Northern author, so I always obviously champion that. It's published by an amazing independent press who are also Northern. However, I just don't feel it's doing itself any favors with this cover. I mean, the quite striking image of this mermaid, um, I think wouldn't be in everyone's taste, but I think that could be fine. But layered onto the yellow sun and then onto the red, then with the palm trees, then with the like uneven edge. And then there's quite a lot of text on it. Cause it's like a long title and it has like a little, a love story on like, is that necessary? I just think there's too much going on here personally and then finally we have hype beast what is a book cover that is trying to do all of the trends at once this was the hardest to come up with because i like a lot of those trends not gonna lie and all, both of the books i picked for this i actually don't think are bad covers at all i really like them and um, the first one is writers and lovers by lily king i think with this it's just it's doing like the bright and pastely colors the like millennial pink thing which i think a lot of books do that that is kind of like the way of communicating that now but then with the cutouts of people that's another massive trend of having like silhouettes of people or like just vague sketches the outlines and then the addition of the books like it's quite a trend i feel like to have like a book on the cover of a book or to some way reference books i feel like it's trying to hit a lot of trends and then the other one i absolutely love this cover but it's the paperback of kim jong born 1982 um, I do think this is a very like trendy cover again with this sort of like silhouetted or you know um, abstract of a person again with like the three bold colors and the repeating pattern is a massive trend so I'm thinking of like the sellout by Paul BT which obviously came out a good few years ago but then such a fun age by Kelly Reed leave the world behind that sort of like repeating image is definitely a trend and this has the colors and it has the people so I'm obsessed with this cover but I do think it's kind of a trendy one and then it just kind of got me thinking about trends generally like when i'm talking about the trend of like the cutout person i'm thinking of like dolly alderton ghosts emma gann and olive nick hornby just like you with the kind of bright pastely colors and the cutout person like those three books are all so similar to me and then this year i feel like i'm making a prediction here that the trend is going to be like a cartoon eye because fake accounts by lauren euler which i'm obsessed with this cover i think it's stunning is so similar to the new Patricia Highsmith short stories, selected short stories that have come out, like with the eye and then the like repeating pattern. You heard it here first, eyes are gonna be the trend in 2021. Okay, so that's all the questions. I thought this was gonna be like the quickest video ever. I've been filming for 20 minutes. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I say, I'll leave the original below if you would like to do it. Obviously I'd love you subscribe. Uh, my Instagram and my story graph are linked down below and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.